To be the man, you gotta beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cut this shot. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast, episode 18. We're all fucking tired. <laughs> Pretty tired. Yeah. Hey man. We're going to talk about that at the end of the show. But for now, I'm Jacob Vest in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian Bryman Pico. Who are you? I can't hear you. I'm Brian Bryman Pico. You did the exact same fucking way. You'd be louder. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tired. And I'm the one who slept. Yeah. I yeah. slept for five minutes. And I'm Jeremy Mr. Brooks. Are you Mr. Brooks now? I thought yeah, you were Mr. coach. Bro- I'm going my name. All right. Well, what if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it big, son. All right, that's fine. Hey. So, we're not really gonna talk about Raw and SmackDown. Wait, are we gonna talk about? We're not talking about SmackDown. What oh. happened on SmackDown? I don't, I don't know. fucking know. Really, the only thing that happened is Baron and Sammy are still feuding, which is cool. I don't like it, but okay. I they work well together. Oh, you know what we should talk about from SmackDown? Huh. We had. Owens versus Nakamura. Which was good. It was... That's the problem, is it was good. Yeah, when we watched... Uh, is it pay-per-view good, or... No. No, it was just good. But you know what? I, I do gotta kind of wonder, do they hold back a little for pay-per-views? When you mean means until paper? Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna get that match. There's yeah, nothing that will. There's nothing that leads up to that, though. Like, there's no... Right now, no. But yeah. these guys are gonna be in WWE for years. Yeah. There's also going to be other people in WWE. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know. I think when we get a shit match, it's not... You don't want to say it was a shit match. You're comparing it to their ROH match, aren't you? Yeah. Exactly. I think the better match will come. Yeah. I think it will come. They're just, they just testing the waters right now with them and see how the WWE audience like it. Because they killed it in Ring of Honor. Yeah. But they just want to see how... These fans like it. They killed it in Ring of Honor where they were both over as fuck. Right. Owens is over. Uh, yeah, I guess Nakamura they're both over. Is yeah. Maybe even more over than Owens. But they work smarter in WWE. Wait, oh, I'm going to get a lot of shit for that. I'm going to get a lot of shit for that. But that, that's true. You know, they're going to go out there, they're going to put on a good match, and then eventually we're going to get an incredible pay per view match. Now, I can see yeah. some kind of SummerSlam kind of deal with that one. Yeah, maybe. Because I think uh, uh, Kevin's pretty upset with him for kicking him in the fucking mouth. Yeah, I can see that. I would be too. Yeah, I absolutely. Be. I'll be throwing blows and kicking asses if somebody did it in my face. Son of a bitch. Speaking of big kicks, uh, Hideo Itami and Oni Lorcan had a pretty good match on NXT. Are we going to cover Raw and SmackDown first, though, to get that shit out of the way? We can go over NXT. Well, that's the good stuff. All right, let's go over Raw. And the only good thing from Raw was when... <laughs> um, what early? Samoa Joe choked out Paul Heyman. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. That was also fucking terrifying. Yeah. Like, when he started moving in to Heyman, I was like... And he cornered Heyman? Yeah. Got in his face. No mic, but just... Let delivered him. a message that was intense and yeah. then he just so, told know. Heyman that like I'm gonna wrap my arm around your neck like <laughs> yeah. oh my just God. walked him through it just so he knew Joe might be a fucking serial killer so <laughs> is this a fucking is this match between Joe and Brock gonna live up to his expectation I hope so cause the way Joe set the tone Monday fucking with Paul Heyman like that son of a bitch boys yeah. Brock Lesnar gonna come out there pissed off. The yeah. Tomorrow. He come, he's gonna be on Raw tomorrow. Yeah. Brock may not even give a shit though. Does he oh. really care about Heyman? Don't tell me it's gonna end up like the big show and and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania in New York. Where Heyman turn on Brock Lesnar and Big Show won the championship. What do you think Heyman's gonna go with Joe? Is Joe the next big thing? Joe wanted him to advocate for him, didn't he? You never know. Did he? Yeah, that's that's what he was talking about. Pretty sure. I could be making it up. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> Samoa Joe wanted Paul Heyman. He wanted to be a Paul Heyman guy. I don't know. I don't remember that. I think so. We all want to be Paul Heyman guys. But I think the expectation, I don't, from the 
WWE Universe. God, mm-hmm. I hated saying that. I think their expectations <laughs> for uh, the match aren't that high. So apparently there's a lot of people who don't like Joe, who don't respect Samoa Joe. I yeah, see I, that, yeah. I guess the plan was to leave him in NXT forever. Uh, I guess people, they're getting tired of special wrestlers coming through NXT so fast, winning the belt, and then getting moved up on the main roster and taking over just like that. Yeah, but if they're putting butts in seats, selling merchandise, but and being know, fucking awesome, then... But we think that and we understand it. You got people that don't understand that. And yeah, you got people who, like the the WWE fan, the WWE universe. Hate saying that. Um, <laughs> they, in I general, that. I don't think that they know Joe. They do now. He choked out Paul Heyman. <laughs> well, yeah. And like other than that, and some amazing matches that he's had recently, I don't know if. Yeah, I don't know if the WWE Universe, I hate saying that, uh, knows who Joe is necessarily, uh, except for obviously choking out Paul Heyman now. Yeah. And uh, a few really good matches. I don't think he's had that many matches since he got called up. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think the WWE Universe knows who Paul Heyman is. Yeah. Yeah. The older... Yeah, People I mean, know who he is. They know who he is. He's a, yeah, I don't... They know who he is because he did the whole, he's the one and 21 and one and... Yeah, but... That's the universe. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's just... People know who Paul Heyman is. I feel like they're learning who Joe is. We know who Joe is. The people our age that knows wrestling know who Joe is. Yeah. So we know Joe deserves to get wherever he gets right now. So here's the thing, though. Even if they don't know him, they know now that he's he's wrestled some good matches. Mm-hmm. He choked out Paul Heyman. If he beats Brock Lesnar, oh, who the fuck is this guy? Right. That would be good to see. But I'm saying, like, the hype behind it right now, I don't think he's very high. I've seen a lot of people just like, I don't, why did you? That might that change tonight. Because like Brooke said, Brock is going to show up tonight. That's right. These two ought to fucking murder each other up until... Whenever the hell we're seeing this match. Not Money in the Bank. Well, no, because that's SmackDown. Yeah. So is it going to be on Great Balls of Fire? Yes, I that's what it is. It will be you. on that goodness gracious Great Balls of Fire. Why? And I Why cannot not? wait for that. Did you see they changed the logo? Yes. It looked like a penis. Oh, They, they right. changed that. It, what? It looked like a cock of balls. <laughs> it did. It still they, does. No, they changed it. Yeah. Oh, did they really? Now it looks like uh, like the Harley Davidson shield almost. So they want your copyright to get sued. <laughs> yeah, someone, Stephanie maybe, agreed that it looked like a cock and balls. Well, it's hard not to because that's what it is. Great balls. Well, somebody fire. prominent. I think it may have been Stephanie. Because Stephanie knows. She, never mind. But she's, the thing, the chief, she's the chief brand officer. Yeah. She should be the one to be like, fuck, you're right. Yeah. But the thing I saw about uh, one of my favorite things about Samoa Joe and Lesnar was why did, why can uh, Samoa Joe hold his own against the Beast? Because he did this against the Butcher. And it was him and Necro Butcher's match. Fucking brutal. Huh. Necro Butcher's pretty terrifying. Yep. Especially that name. <clears throat> you know, one, one quick note about Samoa and Joe. A lot Samoa of people, and Joe? Samoa, Samoa and, and Joe. Joe. Samoa and Joe. I ain't say Samoa and Joe. Was <laughs> it Bonnie and fucking Clyde? They go that fucking can again. <laughs> <laughs> we have a can that's possessed. It keeps moving on its own. I'm down. I don't like that shit. But uh, getting back to what I was saying, I think some people that don't, that's just the universe. That's just they have they they John Cena and stuff like that. You know, so they just see Samoa and Joe as another guy that got a big name that's getting the fucking push. Samoa Joe. I'm going to say it how I want to fucking say it. You're going to kick my ass. Right. Well, is he going to be like fucking, fucking, uh, what's the son bitch name that took your five dollars? New Jack. He's going to be like, New Jack, come to the fucking garage door and kick my ass because I said his name wrong? Fuck Samoa and Joe. Samoa and Joe. He could be a sloppy Joe. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Um, Motherfucker. No, you got me hating Speaking of uh, pronouncing Samoa Joe wrong, <clears throat> one of my favorite memes after he won was Vince, was the picture of him winning. 
and then a picture of Vince McMahon and said, no, I didn't say Jamut. <laughs> I just fucked his name all up <laughs> so bad. Jamal and Joe. <laughs> it was Vince McMahon, and it said, I, no, I didn't say Samoa Joe. I said my Samoan ho, and <laughs> I had Roman Reigns. I that. That's awesome. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I did see that one. That was yeah. cool. <laughs> So now to get, as Brian put it, the the good wrestling yeah. of the week. We had well first of all we had Killian Dane debut in singles, which was pretty good. That was cool. We had He faced No Way Jose. Yeah. Who's who's a great worker? Yeah, he's uh, so uh, we know a certain group of people who hate No Way Jose. Yeah, but for no reason. Uh I don't know I because I haven't seen him that much. I can see how he can get old quick. I'm almost tired of him, but I'm not yet. Because I haven't seen him that much, really. Yeah. He's still just a good worker. Yeah. I mean, I don't I hate him, but I can definitely see how the gimmick gets old. Live, it's fun, because you're there. And yeah. Everyone's dancing. And, um, but my favorite debut of this last week in NXT, Sarah Logan. We're just going to skip over Killian Dane's music. Well, we're getting back to that. I, we're right, talking right. about the f- firsts. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm very excited to see Sarah Logan. I don't know if she's going to stick with this name now or not. Yeah, because what was she at the NXT show? That we were just at? She was Sarah. Sarah Bridges. Yeah. She was Sarah Bridges for a long time before that. Well before that, she was also Crazy Mary Dobson. Which, holy shit... Yeah, I need to look up some more of her stuff. I have not watched much Crazy Mary Dobson. I don't know if I could. Oh, right, she was a deathmatch wrestler. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I probably won't watch that. <laughs> yeah, that's... I just don't care for it. I can watch deathmatch wrestling, I guess, but I don't know... I don't know about seeing Sarah Logan in a deathmatch. I just like... don't find any of it entertaining. Uh, some of it. I mean, some of it's ex- excessive. I, Definitely. I just... I prefer a good wrestling match versus a hardcore match. The yeah. only time I like hardcore matches is when both the motherfuckers hate each other and need to die. One of them needs to die. I respect that. Love that. that. I respect that. That's yeah, I, I, I don't like... I don't necessarily like death match like federations. Yeah. Like when every match is a death match or like or there's one death match a day or something. Like I, I don't get that. I mean, I get it. Peace. Some people like it. It's definitely for some people. Yeah, it's for some people. But, <clears throat> and I mean, I, I bought some deathmatch tapes. Sure. A long time ago. I may have sold them. I don't know. Was they tapes or DVDs? Well, DVDs, but y- you call them tapes. They're tapes. You review the tapes. You study your tapes. Gotcha. So, I have a box full of tapes. I probably have thousands of dollars in DVDs over there. You so. need to bust those out and get them up on the website. Just show off your collection. Sell them. Uh, some, <laughs> I'm selling them, damn it. I sold some. I sold most of my WWE ones. Right. Those are easy to find. Yeah, I mean, they're all on the network. Yeah. I still have my Rob Van Dam one, though. Nice. He's one of a kind. Yeah. It's a special That's kind of dude right now. Yeah. It's a special kind of dude right there. Oh, yeah. I miss, I miss the old pot smoking some bitch. <laughs> but yeah, back to Killian Dane, though. That the music. The music. The Beast of Belfast. From Belfast. Is it of or from? It's from. I don't know, I closed the video. <laughs> I think I was saying from, but I think it's of. I'll okay. tell you one the thing. The Beast of Belfast. Listening to that music makes me want to go eat some shepherd's pie. Ha! Do a jig? Yes. Go down, walk down a fucking alley, and beat the fuck out of anybody who's around me. Mm-mm-mm, shepherd's pie. Do a jig I and kill said a motherfucker. <laughs> Sounds so good. Is that, that is- Irish? Yeah, yeah, boy, it's a, hell yeah, it's Irish, son. Okay. Hey, that shit good. Yeah, I, I've had it once. I, think. I used to work in an Irish bar. That was the main dish. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, that's right. The, mm-hmm. the I forgot you. that was the Irish bar you worked at. Yeah, the, the main dish was shepherd's pie. Oh. And I ate, I ate when they... Oh. Was it beef or lamb? Beef. Nice. Some, but on St. Patrick's Day, they had both. Nice. Yeah, I've never had it with lamb. I'd like to try it. Did Seamus ever order it when he came? When Seamus ordered, and uh, when he came to the dub, he ordered a burger with potato wedges, sweet potato fries. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, eat Shepherd's Pie. Shepherd's Pie is heavy. That's true. Yeah. That's a heavy meal, and he's on the roll. You know, the wrestlers, they yeah. come and go, so I don't, I don't you know, something, he ate something light, and he had to move on. If it, yeah, like, if, when I eat Shepherd's Pie, I'm going to sleep for at least six hours. <laughs> oh, you know, I think we're going to make that, uh, probably going to make that for dinner tomorrow. Well, I'm coming over. Yeah, all right. right. Yeah. I can go for a nice piece of Shepherd's Pie now. Still going to be around? I'm leaving, I'll leave tomorrow night. Uh, I'll let you know if we're making it. Hell yeah, I'll take some. You guys can come over and we'll have dinner. To <laughs> Hell yeah. And we can watch some kind of shit. But that music Maybe we'll watch good. Dominion. Because <clears throat> I missed it. Yeah. No spoilers, please. I don't yeah, I don't care. Spoil it. That's fine. Don't spoil it. Comment. Comment down below. What was your favorite match from Dominion? If you didn't watch it, why not? Yeah. Why are you not watching New Japan Pro Wrestling? You should be. I'm on. They got me watching it and I love it. It's real wrestling. We, we haven't watched it. Why are you yelling at them to watch it? <laughs> because they could have. <laughs> they could watch it before us and they could give us an input. Yeah, well, I guess we were busy today. Doing so, to, yeah, Doing to continue the, uh, <laughs> driving. the NXT news, Mark Andrews was attacked by Pete Dunne during his band's fest. Say Christmas what? Night. Yeah. So who's Mark Andrews? Mark Andrews was a contestant from the UK Championship Tournament. Okay. And the next contestant or contender for the UK championship. But he's in a band? Yeah, he's in a band, I think, called Junior. Ah. Ain't no band better yeah. than Chris Jericho Fozzie. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but uh, during the set, Pete Dunne came out and attacked him. <laughs> That's cool. And then Mark Andrews did a, a flip off the stage and hit Dunne. And a dive, if you will. A di- yes, a dive. Imagine you sit in the front row. Yeah. You paid big money to listen to some good music, and all of a sudden you got motherfuckers jumping off stages. Yeah. What That's a hell cool. of a show to go to. Yeah. I'll be going to ape shit. Imagine Look. if you were at a wrestling show, and during intermission, there's a band playing in the middle of the fucking ring, and one of their songs was called Drop Kick to the Face, and two of the wrestlers from earlier that day came out and gave each other a drop kick to the face. I will probably have a stroke and three heart attacks, and I'll be so fucking excited. Because that happened at our show. So you done tuning your own horn? I am, <laughs> no, I will toot my horn for days. And let me tell you something. When that happened at that show, we almost started got them off that that some bitch. Yeah, in that five by five square that we fit as many chairs into as we could. We that place was so packed, and we had that band go out there and blare music. That, Nobody left. That was a safety hazard. <laughs> <laughs> and we all of us in that rain freaking mosh pitting. I swear somebody shitted on themselves. With the band playing in the ring. In the ring. Vincent, man, we had a band playing in our ring. What you got, fool? Contract signings? Fuck off. Flow rider? Yeah. Pitbull. <laughs> Flow rider. No, you know what? Let me tell you something. Nobody gave you? a shit about that performance at WrestleMania. I'm going crazy right now. Fuck you. Nobody give a fuck about that goddamn rap shit at WrestleMania. That's all I'm going to say. Because, hey, I'm tired. Yeah, that's all he's got left. And that was your Brooks rant. (laughs) I I ain't got no more in me. (laughs) I but I love it when pro wrestling feuds bleed into real life, especially someone else's, like, personal life. That was pretty cool. That is cool. That is pretty cool. You don't see that a lot. No. And when I, I we saw that, wow! I, I was I liked it that I want to follow that more. Yeah, I, I wish would, I was there. I would love to see more kayfabe. Yeah, more. I don't want to see heels and faces riding in cars together on your little fucking network. <laughs> I don't know if heels and faces ride together uh, on it, but I'm sure they do. Yeah, they do. Being all best fucking friends and shit. That's the... Uh, no, if they're if they're rivals, if they're feuding, they need to feud all the time. Dude, fucking, what is that called? show called, Ride Along? Yeah. Why not use that show to further feuds? Yeah. Why not use Twitter to further... I know they, they do. do a little bit. Yeah. But I think Twitter and Facebook, social media, is, could make kayfabe hard. Hard as fuck, but more legit than ever. But, I mean, it'd be interesting. I would, I usually watch right along. I think I'm a few episodes behind. But if I knew, for instance, you know, Miz and and Ambrose are feuding right now. Yeah. If I knew that Ambrose was, like, maybe sneakily following Miz around and fucking with his car and stuff. Yeah. I would totally watch that. Yeah. But if they're (laughs) fucking riding together, like, hey, buddy, why don't you go... 
Want a burger? Appies and nappies, buddy? No. Fuck you. Appies and nappies. <laughs> Appies and nappies. Appies yeah. and fucking nappies. Want to crush some fucking Sandoz, Ambrose? We're, we are almost to the point of... Bird, uh, we can see... <laughs> <laughs> We're almost to the point that we could see Ambrose and Miz in a car being like, hey, uh, Monday, and then I'm talking about on right along. Yeah. Monday, I'm going to come out and crash your set. How do you want to do this? And they film the whole thing. Or they could be like them two Canadian hockey players from that show we just watched. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, you're saying you want to see them? Like, real life? No, I don't. Okay, yeah, oh, okay, that'd be okay, terrible. Okay. No. But no. I think we're one step away. That's why a lot of people didn't like that uh, Breaking Ground show. Yeah. Because it's like, hey, let me show you how wrestling works. Yeah. It's like Magician's Greatest Secrets Revealed. In fact, I think the same people who did that did Pro Wrestling's Greatest Secrets Revealed. Which, yes, is one of my tapes. I think <laughs> stuff like that existing is okay, though. I mean, it's okay, but we need to act like it doesn't exist. Yeah, Maybe. Maybe can't really can't do that. It's a hard thing to do nowadays. But it's, at the same time, it's such an easy thing to do as well. Because I guarantee you, I will give you, I will bet twenty dollars that Samoa Joe's real name is not Samoa Joe. You don't know that. <laughs> I mean, his parents could be like, "Yep, oh, it's Samoa, <laughs> Samoa Joe." Hey, it's easy. <laughs> what am I fucking Tampa Peacock? <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> what? I was born in Tampa. So they would call you. Alright, you lost Peter. your fucking mind. <laughs> no, actually, you'll be the Ruskin Rooster. <laughs> the Ruskin hey, Rooster. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost too good not to use for something. You're welcome. You're welcome. The Ruskin <laughs> Rooster. That's what you'll be known as on the show from now on. <laughs> the Ruskin Rooster. We need sound effects for that. Just change your Twitter profile and everything. <laughs> Even if uh, I'm, I'm not losing very many followers. I'll tell no. you that. So, uh, and then an update on Mark Andrews. He faced our favorite tag team, the Authors of Pain. Yeah. And got injured by a clothesline from one yeah, of them. Let's fuck those guys. I, I, every time I start to like them a bit more, they do something. Oh. They hurt people. Yep. They're not that interesting. Not really. Um, what's the name of their manager? Christ. Uh... Albert? No. I don't know. He looks like an Albert. He's kind of interesting. I, I like his promos. I like some of the vignettes they do. Those two are just... God damn. They're boring. Their movesets are boring. Yeah, they're just not... Exciting. I mean, I say I like them more, but it might be because DIY was carrying their matches. They're... Yeah, can you tell the two apart, really? No! Tonka and now, Razor. You know what? You know what's funny, though? I can tell Nikki and Bree apart now. And I can pretty much tell Jimmy uh, and Jay apart. I can tell you why you can tell them apart. No, I can look at... <laughs> so boy, yeah, wang, wang, wang. I fucking back myself in that corner. Yeah, you back yourself uh, in I can tell by looking at them. I can. By looking at their faces. Anyways, I can pretty much tell Jimmy and Jay apart. Those two fucking ding dongs. There's no way. Yeah, are they even built to be like twins? Are they brothers? I don't even know. Yeah. Or are they just they pump them out of Creator Wrestling Factory? Yeah, they just look alike. They're clones. They had gotcha. surgery to look better. Attack of the clones. They are clones of Roman Reigns. <laughs> <A> revolution. <laughs> Genetically enhanced. No one was there for that. Jo- oh wait, no, that joke is in the video. It's in the video. <laughs> There's in the I video declare gonna be... bankruptcy! <laughs> it's going to be in the video that's going up on Future Villains Entertainment once I get some sleep and edit the video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I just fucking... One of the fucking Ninja Turtle villains? Talk on Razor. Okay. Yeah. So what are their names? <laughs> Tonka Ta- and Razor. Ta- no, it's like Tonka and Razor or something. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know their name. Razor is one of them, I think. Yeah. And the other one does start with a T? To- wait, wait. <laughs> the Ninja Turtles villains are Toka and Razor. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Is Toka and Razor? Why did you have to fucking do this, WWE? 
Because it's a WWE. They're Albanian? Really? Ackerman Razor. Yeah, you're close enough. Ooh, Occam's Razor. I didn't get that before. I don't know what that is. Uh, the simplest solution is usually the best. I'm looking that up. <laughs> I don't know. It's a science Could there thing. be depth to their character that we don't know? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Because apparently... Yeah, if there's two explanations for something, uh, you use a simpler one. So I guess to say that they're simple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. They are fucking simple. Alright, so there, there was a little more complexity to the character. No, there's not. <laughs> like, apparently, I was listening to a wrestling podcast the other day, and I don't remember who, who they... I don't remember who it was... But they were talking to, like, the producer of Lucha Underground or something. Right. And, uh, I guess there is a lot of, like, subtle stuff in Lucha Underground. I 100% believe that. Yeah, like, all the mythology and stuff. Apparently, if you start Googling all the characters' names and stuff, you'll find out so much more. Hmm. Uh, So it's a mystery. Yeah, like... Stuff that they didn't... I think even some stuff they did on accident. Uh, so I guess I'm still stuck in season one. Yeah, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm having a hard time with Underground. Because it's that novella thing, and I don't really care for that. But it's Robert Rodriguez, and he's a badass. And it's really interesting wrestling. And I guess, speaking of uh, Robert Rodriguez... Uh, who is that again? Uh, he made uh, From Dust Till Dawn, right? From Dust Till Dawn. There's a, there's a theory that Dario Cueto was the original owner of the bar From Dust Till Dawn. Hmm. And now he, I guess he, he in the theory, uh, shit got too out of hand with the bar, I guess. I, I saw Dust Till Dawn a long time ago. Yeah. And I was probably way too young to see it at the time. Um, the new TV series is excellent. Is it? Yes. I, I would like to watch it, actually. Um, but, there, yeah, there's a theory that he was the original owner of the bar, and now he just went into, like, an underground fight club thing. What surprised me in the slightest bit. Yeah, and I guess the, the producer guy was like, you know, we didn't plan it that way, but it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and he was talking about, he's seen a lot of fan theories, and he's like, well, I wish we would have thought of that, because we would have ran with it. Right. Yeah, I, I really need to watch more of it, I'm sure. It's, you know, it's stuff like... What's that one guy, Astro, the guy who comes from space? He's like all, he, he's all lit up like a fucking... I don't think I've even gotten that far. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm I'm almost the end of season one, but no. I thought he was in season one early on. But he, there's a guy, he's like, you know, his prophecy foretold. He would be here on this night. And he shows up and he looks like, uh... Uh, oh my god, what is the, the, not Power Rangers, Ultron, Ultron, Voltron? Voltron? Not Ultron, that's Marvel. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like fucking Voltron, he's got all kind of lit up and he's got all kind of white suit. Voltron is the robot made out of lions. You know? Yeah. Okay. But he's got, kind of got that color scheme, he's got lights everywhere, and he has like, like... It's Astro something? Yeah. Okay, that's one they were talking about. Apparently that is like an Aztec myth. That yeah. there was a guy who came from the sky, and he's like all futuristic and robotic, and sh- it's weird. I yeah, but as long as it doesn't get too like uh, like Shakara weird, I think I'm gonna be okay with it. I like Shakara stories more. They had the whole story with like the source of power and everything. That was pretty cool. I should probably hire some Shakara writers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, to me, a lot of people smoking that skank weed. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, apparently if you go to a, a Lucha Underground taping, you'll get a contact high, apparently. That's what they were saying. Oh, wow. It was... I don't know. We need to take a road trip, boys. <laughs> I'd love to go to a Lucha Underground taping. I just want to go get contact high. <laughs> and watch some do I was speaking of tapings. I know someone who got fucking tickets to a taping, an NXT taping. 
I'm so fucking pissed. You Ooh, know. What, what NXT taping? One of the full sale tapings. That, who did? That we're always trying to get fucking tickets to. Who did it? You know who got tickets. Who? I'm not going to name them on the show, but you know who got tickets. They live Somebody in Orlando? Yeah. Fuck Someone who should be listening to the podcast. Are you serious? Yeah. Yo, yeah. we're going to need you to like go to full sale one night. I want to go in there and copy some goddamn tickets, I guess. Do it. I'll see what I can do. You should probably get out of the fucking coach. I'll I'll tickets. I'll just, <laughs> <laughs> I just have to coach at full sale. I just, what I, you I, coach, I, I, that, that, that needs to be a trip that we take. Soon. Nobody heard my fucking joke. Fuck yes, you guys. Yes, I coach at sit full sale. So you know, they got no athletics at no, all. No, then you didn't hear the rest of my fucking joke. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the scheme to get y'all fucking tickets. I said you need to walk in there. Like, I'm the coach for fucking Full Sail. I'm the, I'm the Quidditch coach. Oh, Lord. These are a bunch of nerds? Yeah. Which is great, because I wanted to go there. I, I still want to go there. They probably hired me for some shit like that, too, to be honest with you. Yeah. To be the Quidditch coach? Yeah, I just go in there and sweep bathrooms. But, uh... I used to have a Full Sail backpack and CD case. I wanted to go so I had a buddy of mine who graduated from Full Sail, and, you know, it's a, it's a win, and... I don't know, it just... If you make it, you make it. If you don't, you don't. Either way, you spend yeah. that shit ton of money and you pay all that shit back. Very true. I found out one of my favorite guys from Ajiba Hunter went to Full Sail. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Very he was cool. talking about when he was at Full Sail, and I was like, what? <laughs> I guess I'll have to just go up to Full Sail on Wednesday and just wait till the show over. Yeah, you probably won't even get tickets then. I don't want to go in. I just wait to get tickets. You can line for everyone else. Yeah. They don't help you watching the show. You'll be in line. All right, fuck you. Ticket guy comes up. What are you doing? I had to go to the bathroom, but I got locked out the building. I'll yeah. next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they record on Wednesdays apparently. Uh, that'd be pain in the ass. Yeah, it doesn't work well for my schedule. We have to talk about this off air. Yeah. Because on air, we're gonna talk about some stupid shit. Let's talk about some stupid shit. Jim Cornette. Stupid. Oh, I got some more stupid shit here when you're ready, by the way. Breaking news. Uh-oh. You want to do this first? Uh, How breaking is it? Pretty breaking. Should we hold off for Jim Cornette? Yeah, Corny, hold on a second. Go ahead. Apparently, supposedly, allegedly, John Cena is coming back on July 4th on SmackDown to win the title from Jinder Mahal. Shut the fuck up. Because it's America. Approved. Not approved. I, I don't approve. Not approved. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Because that means that he breaks Ric Flair's record. Yeah. No, no, no. Fuck that. That Thank can't you. happen on a SmackDown. Thank yeah. you. It, should, it shouldn't happen at all. Shouldn't happen at all. Shouldn't happen at all. I disagree. Oh. He deserves it. If anyone's ever going to deserve it, it's John Cena. Nah. Nah. It... If it happens, it should not happen on SmackDown. It shouldn't happen at all. But it's he the should, 4th he, of July. See, this is what pisses America. me off. America. America. He goes, make movies, make TV shows, and he comes back and be a champion when he got people that are fighting every fucking day to be a champion. I don't give a fuck if you've been there for ages. Let's see if it happens before but we get mad. He's the Marine. He, he can kiss my white ass. I don't give a fuck. He's also okay. let's see if it happens before you get before you get heated. It's John about Cena, it. yeah, He's also happen. the doctor of thugonomics. He also gave The Rock a lot of shit for doing exactly this. So now he doing it. M- maybe. Where are you getting this from? Twitter? We know how well that shit works. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. What's your source? Reveal your source. He wishes to remain anonymous. Twitter? We'll text you. No. Some dickhead on Twitter. <laughs> I got a text. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know who Oh. Is. He doesn't know shit. <laughs> Whatever. No, My no. friend here, Jim Cornette, on the other hand. He doesn't know shit either. Right, he doesn't. I'm, I'm fucking with so. Jim Cornette. That's a funny ass dude. Jim Cornette is very entertaining. He's a funny ass dude. He is a giant piece of shit. <laughs> he is such a fucking asshole. Well, you gotta be in fucking living the business we live in. He is just below JBL. Whoa. In my book. That no, no. JBL no. is the top of the dickhead mountain. Jim Cornette ain't that high. Okay. The shit that he says about Kevin Owens and El Generico and all these other guys, and he's an asshole. 
You know what? This kind of kind of reminds me of the conversation I was having the other day. I fucking hate old people. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I'm about to contradict myself. Because <laughs> fucking Jim Cornette was 100% correct about Kevin Owens and El Generico. Because he's told Kevin, Kevin Steen, he needed to cut some weight. He told El Generico to take the fucking mask off. They've done both things, and now they're much more popular. Uh, Generico may have taken the mask off, which I'm not happy with. Uh, Kevin... Kevin's got weight. Recently, yes, but I think when... I went back and watched some of his old stuff, hmm? and he was not in that bad of shape to begin with. I, I think it also... He wasn't he in main with. roster shape. No. No, he, he was in better shape than he is now. When he was doing moonsaults? He didn't have that look. Are you talking about when he was wearing the singlet? Yeah. I'm talking about Kill Steam Kill, though. Okay. When he was on top of the world. See, I can't... Yeah, yeah, I don't know you were super familiar with him, then. Yeah, he, we just watched that. Yeah, he, he was a rotund dude. He had some, he had some weight on him. He can move, don't get me wrong. He can move around the ring. That weight didn't fucking hold him back at all. But he yeah. was still a rotund dude. <laughs> well, rotund. <laughs> Who do we know that lives in her name that was rotund? Me? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, but he was pretty much right. I, I really don't think El Jericho would get over. Not the way Sami Zayn has. I think he would. I think people love masks. I don't even tell Kalisto that. No, I, th- I think if they were pushed and pushed right, mask sales would go through the fucking roof. T-shirt sales would go through the fucking roof. I think if you've got a main, like a main roster guy that's like legit being pushed, not being, not in dumpster matches with Braun Strowman. Yeah. Like if they just push them the same way they're pushing them now, he's just wearing a mask. Yeah, in Mexico. Fucking... People love masks. I don't know, the mask ain't in no more, man. Uh, I'm just telling you they do. I don't th- Fuck you, bitch off. Hey, Fuck you. I ain't got no disrespect against the mask. I like me a nice looking mask myself. Right. You know, hey, I wear a mask to go scare somebody too. <laughs> Fuck it. But a lot of this generation they ain't, they ain't bring the it mask, back. Man. I gotta agree. Like, I just don't see him getting over as El Generico as well as he can as Sami Zayn. He's barely since... getting over now with Sami Zayn. No, he's getting over plenty. I think he'd be bigger if he had the mask. No, I I really, because it covers up his face. We gonna pull we know up. he's not Mexican. <laughs> That's the best part. He can't speak part. English. He can't speak Spanish. He can't speak French. Those are all <laughs> the best part. Right. And you, want, you want to talk about a, a, a white Canadian who with Fuck middle... Fuck you. I know where you're going with this. With middle... East, Middle Eastern background or heritage, right? Nope, I lost it. That's why he has the right. Like, is yeah, he, yeah. Like, um, when you said mass Canadian, I know you're gonna go with Guerrero. No, no, okay. no, no. He's British. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's but right. yeah, he's over in that. But that's totally different. Yeah. But oh fuck, where's I going? I don't know. Hopefully not Tampa again. Hopefully not. Woo. Getting over someone who's... Okay. Where are you going with this? I think he pulled over on the side of the road. A white guy wearing oh, a luchador okay. mask. Okay. Who obviously can't speak Spanish. Nope. That's slightly racist, right? No. Someone who's a guy who obviously can't speak Spanish. Red beard sticking out of the mask. Out of the mask. Doing the luchador thing, but not definitely not a luchador. I don't say Mexican. If... And then you could say that, you know, maybe, maybe that's racist. But I think it would get way the fuck over. Because how the fuck over were the Mexicools? Was that not one of the greatest gimmicks ever? Did they wear masks? I don't know if they wore masks. But I think I think they may have. Were they over? I, I, fuck, I'm talking about it right now. How long ago was that? And the Mexicans. <laughs> Mexican guys uh, riding on lawnmowers? Yeah. Super crazy in Hooventude? 
The Jukes, yes. They were just badass. Yeah, especially some of the But Jukes. they was in an era where that, you know, mass, the luchadors were just taking over anyway. But I'm just saying that the it's really fucking funny to have a guy, a white guy... But... Is put that Braun Strowman in the mask. Funny. He's done. He's dead. That's as far as he goes. But a funny guy who could work his fucking ass off and put on matches that would blow your fucking mind. Right, Santino Morella. Never went anywhere. Yeah, because the character was shit. Yep. <laughs> like, that char- that the El Generico was- ger- character is funny as fuck. You know what? I'm going to have to agree with Brian a little bit with El Generico. He may need a partner. I don't know. Like a Kevin Owens. Yeah. No, uh uh-uh. People know who that is, right? I, not the universe, but yeah, people definitely know. I who think some of the universe are people that do what we do and stuff, so they know stuff. There Imagine are some he, people, yeah. he come running out on that ramp with that mask on. They're gonna blow the fuck up. What I would like is to see somebody like a Kevin Owens smash his head, and he goes crazy, and he becomes El Generico. I would like to see if he does, yeah. if that ever happens, I would like to see him come out in the World Rumble with that mask on. Like Mick Foley did Same all thing. three. Mick yes. Foley did all three of his yeah. characters oh, in the yeah. World Rumble. That was fucking awesome. They need a reason for him to become El Generico. I, I like what you see, said, that's though. why I'm, I'm mad that he didn't stay El Generico. Because now, yeah, he gets hit in the head. and they've done, It's been done. I mean, they can do it so we can finally get El Generico. Everyone wants to see El Generico. Like, who doesn't? There's a reason they still do the Olay when he comes out. That's not his music yeah. anymore. It hasn't been his music for years. But everyone's still singing the Bouncing Souls when he comes out. We well, you never know, Brian. Your wish might come true, so. Uh, better. Maybe one day, if he gets way the fuck over, and he might. Like I said earlier, these guys are going to be WWE for years. Hopefully. You never know. So, I mean, other than Jim Cornette and, and Vince Russo, what? Speaking of being in WWE for years, and the matchup with Nakamura and Kevin Owens, they may not. And So why are they giving us substandard matches when they're, it's on SmackDown. their future is not guaranteed? Like, why? Right. Like, don't give us that shit. And it's just because it's on SmackDown. But there's and there's definitely no guarantee for tomorrow. Like look at Corey Graves, he should have been wrestling for the next twenty something years. No, nope. he'd be champion by now. Yeah, nope. Now he's on commentary because yeah. he got fucked up. Now these guys, these guys have been wrestling for years and years and years, and they haven't. But it just takes that one fucking that that one misstep, and that's it. So don't give us piss poor matches. Do your fucking best every opportunity you get, even if you're at the top. We know you're listening. Yeah, you're listening. So, that's my advice to you. Search yourself out. So, (laughs) you're just saying all kinds of weird shit tonight. Do do we care about Vince Russo and Jim Cornette getting into a fist fight? Because I'd fucking love to see that. I'll I'll, watch it, but I don't... I'll drink a beer and a hat. Have care. you watched uh, the most recent Table for Three? No. It's Michael Hayes, Jim Cornette, and Eric Bischoff. Yeah. Oh, Cornette right. and Bischoff has, have never met. Really? They've talked shit about each other. They clear the table and all that? Yeah. Yeah. And Cornette talked all kinds of shit straight to Bischoff's face. Cornette, and it was he, lovely. Cornette cut through. He ain't gonna lie. He ain't gonna shoot those shit. He gonna tell you. I appreciate really that about Cornette. That's what I appreciate about him. Huh? <laughs> You'll get it when you watch the show. Okay. <laughs> stop. Hey. Stop. This is the stop. This is welcome to the Future Hills Letter Candy Podcast. You're about to get fucking banned from the podcast. Hey. Uh, <laughs> what Co- the a couple hot players coming down to the produce stand the other day. <laughs> what? Yeah, but when you was talking about Eric Bischoff and uh, Jim Cornette talking about each other on that three table, what happened with that? So. Cornette talking shit straight to Bischoff. Right. Talking shit, talking shit, and Bischoff went, but you're not correct. <laughs> In a nice, gentle way. <laughs> That's Eric Bischoff. It was a fucking great table for three. Well, Michael Hayes just sitting there chilling? 
No, he he contributed. He was around for that kind of yeah, oh yeah. that time. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, that has probably one of the best table for threes I've watched. And the one that just recently came out, Rick Flair, wasn't it? It was Randy yeah. Orton, uh, Bruno San Martino, Rick Flair. Maybe it was Rick Flair. Yeah, it was Rick Flair, yeah. I saw I saw a commercial for it. It was Orton San Martino, Flair, and, and uh, Bruno was talking about the past and all that, and Randy Orton, you know. Basically, it kind of, you're looking at it, it kind of felt like they was passing on them, passing them along something to Randy. But Randy getting old, too, so. Yes, it was Flair, sorry. But, yeah, it, that that one was really, really good. I love hearing Bruno San Martino talk. Right. Because that is a guy I am familiar with, but not on a, I don't want to say a personal level. But, you know, like, I do know... Cornette and Owens and all these guys on a kind of personal level where I see their personality a bit more. Bruno, not really. Well, you know, you gotta respect what Bruno did for his company. Oh, hell yeah. You know, he did a lot back in the day before WWE became WWF. And that's why I say, like, I would mm-hmm. love to see Bruno in more interview type stuff, more just sure. shooting like shit to, stuff. I like to see all the wrestlers like that from that era, you know, come back and just talk. If they're yeah. still alive, if you're not, you know, rest in peace for y'all. Because, you know, like, if it wasn't for them, shit, we wouldn't have what we have. Yeah. And all that stuff. But I, I'm going to watch that one. That sounds like a good one. Yeah, it, t- Table for Three is one of the best shows on the network. Do they still have that one thing with JBL? Oh, no, the, that the, got canceled. Did it really? JBL what? The one show I actually kind of wanted to watch. Yeah, I don't canceled. know why it got canceled. It was really good. Uh, it sorry. may have been because of Bring It to the Table. Which is JBL, Peter Rosenberg. That's probably it, yeah. Uh, and the third. Uh, uh, oh, God damn it. I don't remember who. But, um, the yeah, one dude with the hair. That. Yep, right. That guy. Corey Graves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Corey Graves. Mm-hmm. Oh, so this is the one guy with the hair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, supposedly, they filmed a table for three with Vince McMahon. Ooh. Yeah. I wonder who all going to be in that one, man. I don't know. Vince, Vince, and Vince. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I would like to see Vince, Triple H, and Shane. I want to see Table for Three, Mick Foley, Mankind, Big Cactus Jack. Son of a bitch, I would watch that. You know who I want to see? Hmm. Vince McMahon. Paul Heyman and Eric Big Show. Oh, that would be. That it. might be it. <laughs> that's that's the whole kit and caboodle right there, boys. Can you that be a three-hour show? I will sit there and watch that and fuck the world. <laughs> I will I, if some if it's a mask outside. Fuck you! I'm watching this shit right now. I can't help Man. you. I'm sorry. I'm just saying that's fucking epic. Vince is another guy that I wouldn't say we really know particularly. I've been, I've been watching a lot of. Uh, on Vince on YouTube and stuff, you know, I like a lot of the documentaries about yeah. WWE and stuff like that. And then I've been watching when he was putting himself out there as an act. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In WWE, and it's like this dude is—he got—he's a genius. He's an ass, of course, but he's smart. Like you mean, like as a person, he's an asshole. Yeah. You have to. And be a, you, you, like we said, you have to be an asshole in this business, or you're gonna get stepped on. He's and also. Spit out. He takes care of people he doesn't have to. You're right. He does some incredible things. He does, He's, he does. You know, and then you got the people that say he does this and does that and did this and did that. Nobody knows. Nobody ain't gonna oh, say that. Like that one you know. fucking commentator saying the only reason they took care of uh, that little boy with cancer was for publicity. Yeah. Like, fuck you. <laughs> Part of it, maybe, but... Man, they spent a lot of money flying that kid around and his dad and shit for publicity. I like feel they, like they could have done that cheaper think, or more effectively. Uh, getting off top of the little bit, you think they're doing that with that Bailey girl? I don't think they're doing anything with her. Well, how the hell is she going to all these shows? She did before. Oh. I, wish, I wish I had one that I had to go right? to. Right? Son of a bitch. No, that, that little girl doesn't have cancer. But I think if <laughs> anybody's listening from the WWE, please. They do listen to our show. Huh? They do listen to our Well, y'all, please, listen. The coach, Mr. Brooks talking here. 
I'm taking over. And I got three words. I'm taking over, and this is what's going to happen. Make it happen. Vince McMahon, Eric Bischoff, and Paul Heyman sit their black at, oops, excuse me, sit their butts down <laughs> at a table and let them go at it. Don't matter how long it is. Then have the Undertaker, have Goldberg, no, check that, Undertaker, Sting, and who can we have from ECW? Either Sandman or Van Dam or Tom Dreamer. Dreamer. And let them go at it. Raven. Dream. Somebody who set the foundation for ECW. That, Tommy Dreamer. It has to be Tommy Dreamer. Yeah. Because he's been there the longest. Dreamer would also have the most interesting conversation. Dreamer didn't Maybe jump ship. Maybe Bully Ray? No, no. no. Tommy no. Dreamer was there from the beginning. And he never left. That's he's he still an ECW him. guy. Mike yeah. Whipwreck. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was just watching a video of him. <laughs> right before we started. <laughs> but I what do y'all think about that? Yeah, that would be good too. That's something they need to do. I wish they would. But I think they're too scared to do stuff like that because nah. a lot of truth might come out of that little table right there. And they edited it. Nah, fuck that edit shit. Let it raw. Let this be raw. Let pe- let people know. Everybody's smart nowadays, you know? Yeah. Just let us know what the hell happened. Let them, you know, shit. Fuck it. Everybody know that Eric Bischoff stole the Lucha Libres and their, their cruiserweights from ECW. But he ain't going to fucking say it. He's saying that he's took I think he has said it. No, he said that he didn't steal from ECW. Paul Heyman said he stole from ECW, which he did. Rey Mysterio never wrestled in America until he came to ECW. That was his first time ever right. wrestling in America. Then Bischoff bought him off and took him to uh, WCW. But Eric Bischoff said, I didn't take him. I, I saw him first, basically. Which Where reminds you? me, we need to watch the 1994 Duty Family Pro Wrestling Jacob. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> that, Why? That had, like, Chris Benoit. Oh, I would like uh, to watch that. Oh, uh, let me look up who, who all was in that. I know it was legendary. Legend? Wait for it. Dairy. I love when they did that in between seasons. I think season one of the seasons ended... With Barney going, wait for it, legend, and then the next season picked up with him going, dairy. <laughs> I should have watched that show. I think I'm on my fourth round of watching it right now. I fucking love that show. Jason C was the best. How I Met Your Mother, by the way, is what we're talking yeah. about. Uh, what are you looking at? Uh, the 1994 Jacob. Okay. Okay, well, while you're looking that up, we'll go on to the next topic. That, uh, total nonstop action impact wrestling presented by Anthem featuring Global Force Wrestling. Fuck that owl. Apparently what the paid owl. What the people in India to attend their tapings. They spent around seven thousand dollars. Damn, Indian people know how to pull a fucking car right now, man. You yeah. want us to come? You got to pay us. And apparently, they told them the guys coming from the left ramp. Are baby faces and the heels are on the right side, so if they come from the left, cheer them. If they come from the right, boo them. And they pack that little arena like roaches yeah. in an abandoned house, son. What, what a bunch of bullshit. How? Okay, you put that many people. I'm not sure how many people it was. Let's see. This fucking ad will go away. Ad is not going it, away. I've seen a picture of it. It was. It was pretty pet. But how do you figure none of those people are going to talk? That is stupid. Yeah, but at the same time, there are companies that you can pay, and they pay people to go to your events. Yeah. If it's their first time in a place, yeah, why not? It's not. It wasn't. TNA's been over there for a while. TNA's been all over the place, man. And they, TNA's been over there. Well, I don't, I, I don't care if they pay people to go to their show. It just makes them look bad when they get exposed, though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, how do they figure no one's going to say anything? That's just... That doesn't make sense. How many I, of the people that were there were actually paid? Because well, when I first saw that picture, my first thought was, holy shit, a lot of people at Universal. 
<laughs> and I saw it that somebody said the same thing on it. Is that a universal? That can't be a universal. They can't fill that shit up. And then somebody said that's in India. It was a 500 person capacity studio, TV studio, so at least 495 people were paid. <laughs> that would be my guess. Gotcha. Huh. That's that's just sad. If you gotta start doing stuff like that, you might as well just dig you're your gonna, grave. You're gonna start draining money faster doing that. Just, just dig your grave and lay in it. If you can't turn a profit on your own, then why just do it? You might as well just become an indie promotion. Why don't they just call up Ring of Honor or one of them and just be like, "Hey, we need help." Let's view. Right, well, Ring yeah. of Honor want to go over there and then deal with that crap. Dude, Ring of Honor and TNA had a thing the way Ring of Honor and uh, CZW did. That'd be pretty badass. It's all about that pride shit, though, man. It's too much pride in TNA. Yeah, I think you're right. Too much pride in that shit. We're as big as WWE. Yeah, you know. Hey, let's pay people to watch our shit. WWE. What? We can't hear you all the way down there from the top of fucking Titan Tower. Fuck off, TNA. That's pretty sad, TNA. Y'all need to tighten up. Tighten up, TNA. It's dumb. Universal need to tighten up, too. If they can't fill that little sound stage, kick their ass out. They need to do a Ring of Honor, dead. What? TNA just needs to do the same route. You know, what, you know, how do you feel about competing against WWE? We're not. Yeah, that's stupid. They need to stop competing against them. That's exactly it. Because WWE is no... I don't think it's... It's no longer a wrestling promotion. It's a fucking... So far. No, it's not just that. It's a fucking... Behemoth of a company. It's got movie studios and... Oh, something like that. Oh, yeah. Fucking, it's, it's like freaking... It's got their own musicians and... Oh, fucking, yeah. It's like Nickelodeon Studios and shit like that, dude. It's like... Yeah, like, they have their own fucking everything. It's fucking everything. ridiculous. They've got their own clothing line. They probably got the people that make their clothes. They got their own... They probably got make their own food over there. We just don't know about it yet. Oh, sure. Like, like you said, they, they, they got musicians there to make these people interest music. Yeah. They got ladies there, and it's not ladies, ladies and men there, that make the clothes for everybody. And so you just ain't making stuff at your house. It's, it's ridiculous how that, you know, WWE has become where it's at, but they work their ass off to get where they at. Yeah, it's just, I don't think there should be any wrestling promotion trying to compete with them. TNA just No one ever will. Nope. Yeah. Well, cause you know what? I kind of wish somebody will. I kind of wish. It's going to take a fucking Donald Trump type person to put enough money into a company to do that. Oh, boy, you had to bring that shit up. It's just an easy target. I don't know. It's like, I think, you know. Bill Gates needs to suddenly become the biggest wrestling fan in the world. Yeah, right? Please, Bill Gates, because you're listening to. I mean. This is well, over the internet. One possible thing that I've always heard is PWG. Because PWG gets so many celebrities go to their shows. Yeah. To get, like, a group of celebrities to dump money into PWG and blow that up. That would be crazy. But it would still never... As far as companies go... I mean... Their show... I mean, they could compete show-wise. They can compete for ratings. But uh, boys, I, I, it's just something about New Japan with me. New Japan probably is the be- the most likely. You're right. If yeah. New Japan come over here and did a tour around the whole United States... They're planning on it. If they actually execute that and everybody get on that New Japan train, they will compete with the look WWE. At, look at Wrestle Kingdom. It's the stage is not like WrestleMania. The stage is but it's pretty damn close. Yeah, yeah. And it's good wrestling. It's some of the best wrestling. Yeah, dude. It's like you ain't gotta have a fifteen minute story time. Right. They do though. They do have stories. And the story is a lot more better though. And, and, the, the the wrestling, and the wrestling backs. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, though. But the wrestling backs up the story. Yeah. You know, that stuff, and it's just. The wrestlers want to go over there and wrestle. If wrestlers want to go all the way to Japan and wrestle, shit. Come on now. New Japan can take off in America, and they can compete with the WWE, and it'd be another war again. 
and I would probably who would, if that let's say if that happens, who would y'all jump on? New Japan or stay with WWE? WWE. I'm already on New Japan. I'll be a toss up. I grew up with WWE, but now y'all got me watching New Japan, and I'm slowly yeah. falling in love with them egg rolls. We, we got to. Uh, egg rolls aren't Japanese. What's the difference? Don't call me out on this. <laughs> yeah, neither one of you any fucking proof. <laughs> Stop this conversation right now. All right, speaking of New Japan, though, let me bring up this 1994 Super J Cup. Um, why we need to watch it. Um, Hayabusa, Jushin Thunder Liger, uh, some other names that you probably aren't going to recognize, but there's also Taka Michinoku, hey. Dean Malenko, hey, Tampa Boy, Black Tiger, who is Eddie Guerrero, hey. what? Really? Wild Pegasus, who is Chris Benoit. Oh. So this definitely sounds like Chris Jericho in it? Um no. But there were, there's a bunch of other uh he was probably in Mexico. I think so, yeah. Cause he went to Japan then Mexico and Mexico then Japan. I think Japan then Mexico, then he went to America, I think. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't yeah. watch his little documentary he got on Network. So we got to watch this 1994 Super J Cup. Something. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I'll watch that. I might watch it when I get back to the house. Watch a little bit of New Japan footage. Yeah. It's just, it just something about New Japan that it just it opens my eyes. It's like crap. You know, it's that's a new breed of wrestling. Yeah. And they already have their United States title. They revealed that. And you know what's going to lead the New Japan on to the American soil? Fucking Bullet Club. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause how many Bullet Club shirts do you see at, on oh, Raw? I saw one at a bar the other day. Yeah, that's a right. A Bullet Club shirt in a freaking bar. Wait, where 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 was the bar? Was it in Orlando? No, it was in Crystal River. Huh. Little old Crystal River is a Bullet Club shirt at a bar. Did you get jumped recently? Some ticket shirts? No, no. I just pulled it out of the dryer <laughs> today. Uh, it's, it's it's coming, boys. We better hey, y'all better get your houses clean because New Japan coming to sweep it out, boys. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, I mean, with a group of you know, as they call them in New Japan, gaijin, the English, the American guys, group of them leading the charge, that would be amazing. Yeah, and I like to see Braun Strowman go over to New Japan. That's random. I don't know. I just <laughs> I, I, I feel I see him. Being more of a wrestler and dominant over there than just, you know, pushing a fake dummy off a ledge and flipping over a fucking ambulance that he had help doing the shit, you know. Yeah. That the freaking ground things didn't come down all back like they're supposed to. Right. I just, you know, like that, that dude freaking uh, A-Train, what was his name? Yeah, uh, came back as Tensai? Yeah, he went to New Japan, he dominated, he got yeah. better. So did Luke Gallows. Yeah. Everybody goes over there to get better. <laughs> you know, so if freaking, let's say Braun Strowman go over there, he get his crap back. He get it better. He come back over it, shit. I think you could say that about anybody. Huh? I think you could say that about anybody. I agree. I agree with you on that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm sorry to go off talk a little bit, but that just, that New Japan stuff, man, it just, it took my heart. It took my heart. Fucking Lesnar went over there and when he came back he was doing shit in Star Presses. Yeah. Damn, they almost killed himself. So. Yeah, he almost fucking died. <laughs> I think that's the timeline. I don't know. I could be wrong. But he did do both of them. I just don't know what order. I just think it's coming. If somebody going to compete with WWE, it'll be New Japan. Oh, yeah. And Ringo Arm will join New Japan. Yes. Oh, they have a great working relationship. Yeah. The TNA ain't got no choice. They ain't got no choice but to come. TNA just needs they, to they go away. TNA ain't got a whole bunch of better. some of them dudes that just washed up that that bitch and whine about everything instead of doing you know that's all TNA is you gotta do over there that bitch and whine about everybody who doesn't deserve a bill but you know what fuck it let's move on yeah uh, let's move on to Kurt Angle is dreaming of having a wrestling match with Finn fucking Balor and I'll be dreaming about that too don't mind it don't like Angle so what yeah did, what? I don't know. I'm just not an Angle fan. What? 
Not an angle fan. Why? I don't know. I'm just not. That dude is a hell of a wrestler. I mean, he's good. A hell of an athlete. He's he good. got a funny side to him. He's pretty funny. He has some ups and downs. Don't forget, he's from Pittsburgh. They got ups and downs. Fuck the Penguins. Go I- Preds. You know, but Kurt Angle's fucking awesome. I just, I don't know. I've never been an Angle fan, really. Damn. I, I, mean, I like the I like the milk thing. The little cowboy hat was funny. I mean, I, he's funny now. He was a hell of a not, technical wrestler, though, you know. He's, yeah, and he's a good you know, wrestler. Better. But just seems to be missing something for me. What you miss? What is he missing? Then? I don't know. Just missing just something. Just can't figure that out. It's, yeah. It's that bump you can't scratch on your back because it's too far back, though. Exactly. Something they they can put on an incredible match, though. I know that. I would like to see that. I would I yeah. love to see that. What, didn't somebody else say they want to see... I forgot who it was. Curry Angle wrestled somebody else on the roster right now. Uh, well, they, everyone wants him to team up with American Alpha. I heard about that. Yeah. Did he ever wrestle Samoa Joe? A Samoa Joe? Probably at some point. They were yeah. both oh, in TNA. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yes. Never mind, yeah. Who so, was yeah. it? It was somebody that wanted to see him in... in oh, I can't remember. But I heard that, and I said, that might be a pretty good match. I'll think about if it. If anybody, it must be... Somebody recent WWE, like a Seth Rollins, or it's got to be like Nakamura or Finn Balor. I'd yeah. like to see Seth Rollins would take on Kurt Angle. Yeah. That'd be a pretty good match. I would watch anybody versus Kurt Angle. Yeah. I agree with you on that. Brian just doesn't care. Oh, Brian. No, not a Kurt Angle fan. <laughs> I'll, 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 you think he sucks? No, no. He I, sucks. I don't oh. hate him. I'm just not a fan. Like what, he's, what paper it's like, you, it's like Kurt Angle's on. All right. What cool. paper would you watch? We gotta find a new third host. <laughs> <laughs> you on American bastard. <laughs> Watching your stupid fucking Canadian shows is not liking Kurt Angle. Eh? <laughs> Picking New Japan over WWE. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Where's your patriotism? I kind of picked New Japan over WWE a little bit too. Wrong. You're wrong. I, I wrong. stand for the national anthem. Wrong. He pays taxes. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. And I pay my taxes. He pays taxes. Wrong. That, that's where my fucking patriotism is. But I pay my fucking taxes. All right, boys. <laughs> let's not get into this. Brian, no snap on it. We got to chill out. <laughs> I've hit that point. So a Bullet Club member has challenged CM fucking Punk to a oh, yeah. match. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Do Your I, man, Marty Skrull. Do I think it's going to happen, though? I don't think it's going to fucking happen. CM Punk, I think, has said that like it would need to be something unique and interesting to bring him back. Yeah. Bullet Club. That is. See, look here. If that happens, and they do fight... I'm, hey, I wish you would CM Punk join the Bullet Club. That would be incredible. Now look at I'd love to see CM Punk. If CM Punk, Punk joins the Bullet Club, then New Japan make that run. They got CM yeah. Punk. They got CM okay. Punk in their corner. That is pretty fucking exciting. Yeah. Good damn you, you son of a bitch. I just got fired up thinking about that shit. Will you put it that way? Son of a bitch. Because New Japan right now, do they have... What big names could they bring over? From New Japan? Yeah. Uh, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, um, Okada. If so, this is what I feel like they should do. New Japan should come over and fucking invade Ring of Honor. They should invade TNA. They should invade PWG, so that these names that they don't necessarily have can go up against some names that are known over here. Right. You know, let, let's get an Okada... I see what you're talking about. Yeah, let's get an Okada versus a Davey Richards. Right. That would be fucking great. Yeah. CM Punk. Oh my god, I... But if they had CM Punk leading the charge, that's a name that the universe <laughs> knows very well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you realize how much I actually hate WWE. <laughs> what if... Here's my thing real quick. Real quick, um, let's say that happens, all right? And the Bullet Club and CM Punk 
you know, and making all the lead the way. What happens? Yeah, even if Punk's not. And Gallows. Well, they would be in WWE. Nothing would happen. You don't think they'd go to New Japan? No, they're under contract. Under contract, and they like money. They do. They, I think New Japan can make more money over here too. I think they could, but I don't think they can offer them more money right now. Else, WWE kind of needs them. This is the thing about Gallows and Anderson. I mean, they are keeping them on TV. They're going to use them in a big angle eventually. I know they are. The WWE need them like the NW, WCW need the NWO? Something like At that. At some point in that. Like, I just, I, I gotta believe eventually Finn or AJ are gonna join with them and be a major faction. Yeah. It's I don't going think to that's... happen. If it's gonna happen, it need to happen. They don't need to wait too long for this shit, man. Yeah. Watch Finn gonna end up getting hurt again by somebody. He's gonna be out for a while. Jinder Mahal probably. So, something needs to happen. Not if Cena comes back and wins it. It's not happening. July 4th. Doesn't matter what's going on. I think, I think that CM Punk match, that would be a pretty good match. Yeah. If it did happen, yeah, it'd be incredible. I don't see why he would turn that down. Oh, because he's CM Punk and he's a good fuck? Yeah. <laughs> His last name is Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. That's my brother-in-law. Your brother-in-law. So you got two white brothers. I got like a million white brothers, but you are my favorite one, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. You heard it here first. Black oh, Sunday. jeez. Fuck y'all. <laughs> you guys are special. Yeah. Verda. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I've said before, CM Punk is my favorite wrestler in the world. He is the best in the world. He inspired my fucking YouTube name. Brian best Danielson was the best in the world first. He was... Punk made it better. Your arm's too short. No, no, no. Punk's with God. Hey. That is, that's in our intro. I love that shit. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> oh, wait, that's in our intro. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> what the, I say, Jack, what the fuck are you? Fuck you, too. Oh, I love that part. I thought you pulled that out of nowhere. That's my favorite scene. No, I Punk pulled it out of your fucking intro. Yeah, that's <laughs> what is in the intro. I love that, man. That was fucking awesome. You know what my other favorite CM Punk quote is? What? Oh, my Diet Coke. <laughs> 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 he was doing commentary. Y'all should freaking hear him when it, I get the DVDs when they do Raw off the air. Mm. Oh, I've he watched some of those. so hilarious when he was John Cena in the ring. I uh-huh. like John Cena, yeah. He's a professional wrestler. That. He's a good professional wrestler. <laughs> he just put it out there like that. Oh, you can tell he's being a smart ass. I love it. But, uh, actually, what culture just did a video... Oh, I can't remember what exactly what it was. It was like the top ten moments we didn't see coming. I saw that, I think. And it was, number two was like when everyone left Raw and Punk ended up having to do commentary by himself. And they were like, it was kind of weird, but no, that was fucking awesome. I want to see him Punk to be a commentator. If he's not going to wrestle anymore, I really want him to be a commentator. I don't think he's got time for that. I want him to be uncut like Joey Styles was in ECW. Yeah. Just, just let him go. It's not going to happen. I know, but it would be awesome, though. It would be awesome. CM Punk on PWG commentary. Guys, we need to start watching PWG. Yeah. I agree. Stop wasting time with Raw and SmackDown. Continue watching You said NXT. that last week. And I, then I went back and fucking watched it. What the fuck? I did, you know what? I went on YouTube... And I saw Smoke Joe walks up, uh, chokes out Paul Heyman. Yeah, I'll fucking watch that. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, I watched some of the other stuff. But other than that, I didn't really watch anything. I watched NXT. I don't normally watch NXT. I usually watch it here. I, I went on YouTube, looked at SmackDown, and went, oh, I can watch NXT. <laughs> yeah. I should mm. probably watch NXT now. I, I did miss 205. Oh, that's what I didn't watch. I do try to watch 205. I'm not in the habit of watching that. It's I should usually be good. Yeah, I need to watch 205 oh. live. Can I just start at the newest one, or should I go some I, back? I didn't watch this one, but he should be fine just picking it up. Okay. I know I there's never, some storyline. I never really actually watched it from the beginning. You should. I probably will. Um, watch what from the beginning? 205. No, not for like episode one or anything. Oh, okay. But. Like, yeah, definitely watch, definitely watch 205, because it's good. And I, I, you know what I figured out we can do instead of watching Raw and SmackDown? We, I think we can just watch Main Event. 
I think main event just goes over all the big things from Raw and SmackDown and gives you a couple. That is true. They they do. That's that's the whole main event. They have that one match. Yeah. Everything else is about Raw and SmackDown. There's also the show on the network called This Week in WWE. Is there? Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, It's usually on right before the pay per view. Uh, So I'm just wasting my fucking time. It's actually a pretty good thing. Most of the time, I don't want to watch Raw and SmackDown. I'm just just like, I gotta power through this so I can get to. Yeah, I don't know why you watch on Hulu. I really think you're wasting your time. Because I don't get ads. Just watch it on YouTube. Oh, you can get YouTube Red for three months for free right now. No, no thanks. For three months? Eh, that's alright. You are so weird. You're like Kurt Angle. You're not going to make three months of ad-free YouTube? So it's can you listen to it on your f- phone with your phone turned off? Yeah. That might do that. That's the whole point of YouTube Red. There's no ads in that. I might and that. exclusive shows, which I looked at and all shit. Yeah, I don't give Except a shit. maybe scare PewDiePie. Uh, <laughs> I don't give a shit about that guy. I don't know who he is. So, yeah. Um, where the hell are we going with that conversation? Yeah, we went. Stuff we, Okay, no, we need things. to make a commitment to watching PWG, 205 Live, NXT, especially What Culture, because we've really been enjoying that. New Japan. We need... We need, like, two days to just come over here and watch shit. We need two extra days in our week yep. where we can just watch wrestling. What's just next holiday? Off. Next holiday? Yeah. Did you get Fourth off? of July. Ooh. Probably doing shit, then. Well, you probably be over there with me, won't you? Yeah, I hope to be in uh, Coco for... Uh, for the fourth? Atomic. Well, that weekend. If yeah. any, any of y'all listeners in an Orlando, Coco, Melbourne area... The Atomic is going to be over there the 4th of July weekend. Y'all should go check that out. Uh, Raven is on the card. Raven is main eventing. And Raven is one of my wrestling gods. Yeah. Say so. it like you want to say it, son. Yeah, you, you really should be <laughs> trying to go to that. So Chris yeah. can try and get you get you to meet some of them. Yes. Because Chris, Chris is a I didn't mean for that to come guy. out sounded like it was spelled with an A. Yas. <laughs> I, that's one of the things I hate the most in this world. Oh my god. I hate a lot of things in this world. I, I think we're just getting old, guys. I hate you know what people. I hate in this world? So I hate myself. Any <laughs> shows that don't go well. Thanks for creaking that chair as loud as you fucking could. <laughs> <Yep. enjoyed. laughs> it's our just high end. It is. On. Uh, you our can studio. see our video. Apartment. I'm sitting in the bathtub right now. <laughs> it's my favorite thing from our wrestling podcast. We have some high tech material in this room right now. Y'all just can't sure see. Sure do. I mean, this is pretty nice leather. Heard of. I'm sitting in a jacuzzi. <laughs> I want a podcast from a jacuzzi now. Hey, come with us to Coco. I mean, we do. Hell yeah. <laughs> we do our relaxed episodes of the podcast. We need a jacuzzi and do just get this arm. Put the fucking microphone overneath. 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 <laughs> you give me a case of beer. I'll Over be relaxed. Top. Oh my god, that'd be the best. You give me some I, beer. I thought about putting a hot tub outside. Please do. This ain't no problem. Uh, I don't want my voice cracked. Why are we having this conversation on the podcast? Yeah, let's go back to the Guys, podcast. if you think I should put a hot tub in the back, comment down below. Damn straight. If you say no, then fuck you. I want to do it anyway. Actually, before we get to this last topic, Brooks, you have something you want to say to the, the, the audience, don't you? Oh, yeah. Special challenge for them? Look here. The next pay-per-view is Money in the Bank, all right? This is what I want y'all to do, the Brooksy Challenge. Listen, write down, look at the card, your predictions for the Money in the Bank. Is there a card? Much of a card? They got a card, don't they? It's fine. Right? Yeah, okay, so up until the night before the pay-per-view, you can... All right. Write them down, think about them, put them on the website. Put, them website. We'll name, put your name down, we'll announce you live right before the pay-per-view. We'll give you out your prediction. We'll give you a shout out. If you write, if you win it, you never. We might give you a gift card. You never know what we gave you—a free trip. We might let you come to one Don't of our road trips. Don't say we're gonna give a free trip. Don't do that. <laughs> That's See, not it's, happening. Uh, we'll give them a free trip. How the fuck did you escalate from gift card to trip? Hey. <laughs> we're gonna give them a free trip, but it's gonna be like that Hooters. They gave away the Toyota. You ever heard about that? No. There's a lawsuit about it. Um, I don't know if it was for their employees or for their customers. Yeah, they were giving away a Toyota for whatever it is. 
Mm-hmm. But the lady who won it, it was a box and it had a talking Yoda figure in it. Ooh. And she fucking sued them. I forget what she had to do. But she won a toy Yoda. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, we'll give them a free trip. Anyway. I hope they can front bump. <laughs> before, nice. the pay per- before the pay-per-view. Go on Facebook or Twitter. Go on Facebook or Twitter. Write down your predictions. We'll look at them. We'll give you a shout-out. We'll read them out. If you got them, you got them. If you don't, hey. I only had, how many won? Three? I won three of them last time? Yeah. Yeah. And oh. I was damn proud of the three I won. All right, whoever wins the most gets at least a couple free stickers. Yeah, with our logo. Because we have plenty of free stickers now. The more, basically, the more you guys support us. Also, you need to comment on the post or tweet at me at Best of the Realm or at Future Villains. You're also going to need to retweet this episode or share this and be able to see your name and that you've commented and then you'll be entered. Like, share, and comment. The more you support us, the better giveaways we can do. It's going to go from stickers and maybe a gift card to definitely a gift card to maybe a badass action figure to maybe we'll give away one of Brian's prize possessions. Or chilling with Mr. Brooks. That's fine because I have a lot of prize possessions. You really do. Game. We could probably give away all your shit you would Oh, who would want to chill would... with the Brooks in there? Yeah, so anyways. Wow. <laughs> wow. I know, and maybe... Uh, you know, uh, we could get you into sh- local shows if you're in Florida. And yeah, hang out with me and Brian. Exclusive <laughs> meet and greets with a few true villains. Hell yeah! Mm-hmm. And I might have an extra surprise up my sleeves too. You never know what it is, but you gotta do what we say. And that's why no one wants to hang out with Brooksy. <laughs> he ain't not like that, you heifers. Anyway. You should just call us heifers or heifers? Heifers, man. Come on, tighten up. Both. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what y'all can do right now. <laughs> we can stop. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, that's not the end. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I started the show the other day. I figured I could end it today. Damn it. Sorry. I took a nap there for half a second. I'm rebooted now. We have one last topic to get to. What's the topic? What not to do at indie shows. I don't think this is a topic for this episode. I no? think this needs to be an episode all on its own. Actually. You think so? Because we could go on Is this going to be episode 19? Maybe. Maybe this could be a, episode 19. I have a literal book on this. Maybe You do? <laughs> I do. So I I think we should hold off on this topic. You want to hold okay. off on it? Let me find this book, and then we'll do that. Audience, do you want to hold off on this topic? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's, right. that's not how this works. <sighs> okay. So we'll hold off on this topic for now. We probably could do a good chunk of an episode on this. Oh, yeah, we can do a whole... We got a lot We can do a fucking series on this, I'm sure. We can, we can make a book about this shit. Our own a book. Garen fucking a book of pain. Today was a book of pain. It was a but, pain. <laughs> all right, guys, this has been the Future of Villains podcast, episode 18. You can find us at futurevillains.com, F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S.com. I got it right. I thought I got it wrong. You can find us on iTunes. Just look up the Future of Heels podcast. You can find us on Facebook, Future Villains. Find us on YouTube. <laughs> I am, I am. Because you did it, you did it, you get it, you did it at dinner today. I did. So you can't do it. More I than used once it my one time. That is true. This is my once per day power. Yeah. You can find us on if Facebook, Future Villains. You can find us on YouTube, Future Villains Entertainment. You can find me on Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch TV as Best in the Realm. You can find Brian on Twitter. Brian25, Instagram, Brian1138. Brooks? Jerry Brooks42 on Twitter, JBrooks42 on Instagram. Us, your predictions, comment on this episode, share this episode, tweet at me, and share this episode on Twitter, and you'll be entered to win a prize, and we'll be able to tell you on air how wrong you are and how right we were. 
I'm always damn right. And if you have any questions or want us to uh, spark up a topic on one of our podcasts. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, let's let's get it going, boys. We, hey, we want to make this the best podcast ever. And we need y'all help to fulfill our goals. Absolutely. Thank just, you for listening, guys. Go, you have something to say? Well, I just want to quote Brian. Just like the universe helps the WWE. Right. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm done. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next time. Let's stop.